What's up, YouTube? It's your number one player partner, Maggie Mago 7 and here are my top three things that I believe everybody should know when trying to figure out shooting in 2K25. All right, so you want to definitely go over to Shot Timing Profile, where they have the difficulty base, real player percentage, low risk, normal risk, and high risk. All right, so difficulty base um, will adjust automatically to the match difficulty you are playing. So I think everybody should kind of change that because it's just based off of the difficulty that you are playing, okay? The uh, next one is a uh, real percentage, right? So no timing required. All jump shots are based off real player percentages. So this means that if you're playing with a team and certain players really can't shoot in real life, you probably can't even knock down a shot with them. I wouldn't do that, all right? The next one is low risk reward. Jump shot timing only has small impact on your shot chances. Coverage and player ratings are more important. So their player ratings and their coverage is more important and low risk. I wouldn't do that either. This right here is what I would really want everybody to do, which is jump shot timing affects your shot chances by normal amount, most similar to the previous 2Ks, right? So normal risk reward is similar to the 2Ks we've played. And I think everybody should just go to that until you figure out everything else. Um, high risk is for those advanced players. So if you're not advanced, if you're trying to figure out how to shoot and things like that, I don't think you should really go to high risk. I think everybody should go to normal until you figure it out. That's just my own personal preference. All right, the uh, next thing is the shot meter input type. Okay, so when it's on all, that means that if you use a pro stick, your meter will still show. And if you use the square button, your meter will also still show. So if you want your meter to not show on your square button, then you will put it on pro stick only. If you want your meter to not show when you use your pro stick, you will put it on shot button only. Okay, if you put it on all, then it will be on the pro stick and the shot button. All right, so keep that in mind. And my number three thing that I believe everybody should do is definitely go to Learn 2K and head on over to the freestyle segment. All right. You want to definitely go over to, to go lab out. You want to definitely go over to go figure out everybody's jump shot because it is different. The timing is different. I repeat, the timing is different and I'm not saying um, between the shot button which is square or the pro stick which is the analog I'm saying that every different NBA player has a different release point so with you going to the other two things you also need to come over here to the uh, freestyle to, to the learn 2k and you want to, you know, go through the teams. If it's your favorite team, you want to go through that team. Or if you're just playing with random teams, you still need to come over here. Maybe spend about, you know, two, three minutes, maybe five minutes just going through all the players and learning their jump shot. Because that will be crucial in you knocking down a shot or you missing a wide open shot because you think you should have, you know, let the uh, button go a little bit sooner or you think you should have held the button a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? So to me, those are my top three things that you should definitely figure out. And y'all let me know down in the comments section if this helped. Y'all also let me know down in the comments section if there was something that I missed. All right. I'm going to see y'all soon, man. It's your number one player partner, Maggie Mag 7. I'm out. All right, homie.